Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Ninja Gardening. I'm your host, The Plant Assassin. I haven't hosted any plants that were native to Australia yet, although I have several of them growing um, out in my yard and in pots. So I wanted to go ahead and host this plant today. So just looking at it, you would uh, think that it was similar to certain cultivars, a sweet potato or possibly a morning glory. So this plant is related to both those species. It is the bush potato or desert yam. And the scientific name is Ypomia castata. And as I've already said, it's native to Australia, but it's uh, up in the northern parts of Western Australia over to Queensland. And the environment that it's used to is sandy, rocky desert soils. It's very drought tolerant and very heat tolerant. So that's one of the reasons why I chose to grow it. It's uh, unfortunately not listed as being very cold, cold tolerant. So this may not be a good experiment, but it is an experiment nonetheless. So I got two seeds uh, sprouted. I planted two seeds and two seeds sprouted. So I got a 100% germination rate out of two. Um, I did that because I planted several other uh, wild sweet potatoes and I think I planted like 12 seeds for one of them and all 12 of them sprouted. So I didn't want them all at the same time. But this particular plant here is about three months old. Um, you can see that there is leaf damage where some pests have been eating on it. I think it's rather attractive to the earwigs and the slugs. So because of the pest damage, my other individual plant died, but I was able to save this one. So, and it seems to be bounding back from the disaster nicely. So this uh, plant creates a taproot that uh, will go down and form a tuber, much like it looks like a sweet potato. And those tubers can get rather deep. Um, some of the information I read indicated that they can get down to a meter or more. Now the Australian Aborigines would uh, harvest this plant. And interesting thing about the tuber growth is there's the tuber that goes straight down but then it also uh, forms lateral shoots underground that smaller tubers grow off of and those are the tubers that are usually eaten from what i can tell because they're where they're smaller they uh they can be eaten raw according to some reports other reports indicate that they need to be cooked uh, just like a sweet potato would. So I, I don't really know yet on that. It could be the uh, difference between the two different types of tubers. Maybe the lateral tubers are more fruit-like. Um, they've been described like a jicama. And maybe the mother tuber or the tuber that goes down is uh, more like a sweet potato. I um, haven't been able to grow one long enough to know yet, so it will be an interesting experiment. I will take this plant in over the winter and uh, then I'll plant it out um, in one of my raised beds next spring. Hopefully it'll be large enough then. My plan is to get flowers on this. The flowers are uh, gorgeous flowers. They're, they're large. 
in uh, if you do a search for the species on Google Images, you'll see that there are these large bluish purple pink flowers, and they look quite striking out in the Australian uh, outback desert areas. But uh, I'll get the flowers, harvest the seeds, and then I will experiment more with the with the seeds that I have. But this plant, I'm gonna try to <laughs> make sure and keep it very safe until I find out more about its cold hardiness. Uh, as a final note, the uh, these types of plants, these wild sweet potatoes, they um, really hate it when you transplant them while they're growing. You need to wait for them to go dormant. So I almost lost a couple of my uh, North American wild sweet potatoes. Um, very similar plant, but they don't, they, they resent having their roots disturbed. So it went dormant for about a month. I thought they were going to die, but then they sprouted back. So, so you need to wait until the uh, vine grows or dies back to the ground before you transplant them, just as a side note. So if you uh, want to know some more about how the Australian Aborigines would uh, harvest these, there's some interesting pictures and there's also some videos on YouTube. Um, and they would go around and thump on the ground with their hand and listen for the the hollow sound and then that's where they would dig so and there's a couple of videos that show the the lateral uh, tubers growing off those lateral roots so so interesting plant it certainly blurs the line between edibility and beauty in the landscape so I'm hoping it will grow in Idaho. So, and if not, well, now I know. <laughs> anyway, this is the Plant Assassin. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.